Realty Squad, this is the Velvet Locks coming back to you with another video. All right, listen people, I have my notes. Now if you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading off the list. This is not a good thing. I don't know if you guys are aware, if your eyes are open, if you're looking and seeing the writing on the wall with the things that's going on in this world right now. And while I was doing my research one day, I bumped into an article. This is really going to affect our economy in such a bad way because so many people are going to be losing their jobs soon, sooner than we think. They're losing their jobs every day, even as we speak. There's people being laid off right now. And that's because of the many business closings that's going all across the United States and even in Canada. In my local mall, I noticed a lot of the businesses was closing down. And it's like a eerie feeling walking through that mall now because when you go in there it doesn't have the same vibe the same life because there's so many stores that are no longer there and I don't know if you guys have been seeing a lot of the stores in your area disappearing or closing down but I'm here to bring to you a listing of so many different restaurants and some of them are gonna surprise you so let me start off with this list because it is quite a list and it, it really shook me up seeing this. Some of them I've been noticing a few years now that's been quietly closing down. A lot of these companies were probably struggling for a long time and they, they, they filed bankruptcy and because of that they you know they were trying to hold on but then the pandemic hit and there just wasn't no money to be made. I'm gonna list I'm gonna just read it off okay. I think the first list might be mostly foods. Now I don't know if you've been noticing the stores like Steak and Shack, Burger King, Popeyes, Tim Hortons, those are already closing. They're closing those gradually in areas that are in other parts of the state. And these restaurants are starting to close this year, 2021. Brands like Dunkin' Donuts, these are major brands. They're closing. Pizza Hut, yeah, I've been noticing Pizza Hut pretty much closing for years. Starbucks. Starbucks. Now you would think Starbucks is doing well because everybody seems to be buying their coffee from there, but they're closing 500 stores and another 300 in Canada by the end of this year. Okay? Brands like McDonald's, they're closing 200 locations, which they also predict there's going to be more coming. Ruby Tuesdays, I've seen those disappearing. IHOP, International House of Pancakes, IHOP, okay? They filed for bankruptcy. And yeah, they're closing 50 and they plan to close at least another 100 more to come. Okay, brands like Godavia or Godiva, Soup Plantation, which I've never heard of, La Peng. All right, some of these are somewhere in the other parts, like south. Applebee's, Applebee's, they closed 20 stores and plan to close more. We're talking Chuck E. Cheese, okay, they're permanently closing 36 locations. Hot Belly Sandwiches, Denny's, Sizzlers, that's been going for the longest time, but as you can see, if you have one in your area and you start to notice it's disappearing, they're closing. A lot of these I don't know of because they're in other parts, but the Cheesecake Factory, Outback Steakhouse, which I've seen, they haven't been doing too well for a while. Checkers, they're in trouble as well. So if you got Checkers in your area, start to keep a watch because they're going to start disappearing as well. We're talking brands like Dave & Buster's. Dave & Buster's, they laid off at least 1,300 workers. So what does that mean? That means they're not doing good, so they're struggling. TGI Fridays, they're closing restaurants this year. Um, Red Robin, they're in trouble. Luby's, Friendly's, which they've been gone for a while. But if they're in your part of the town, they're going too. Now the next list I'm going to show you might be a mixture of both restaurants and clothing stores. But the clothing brands that are disappearing, Banana Republic, Carter's, American Eagle, Zara, Men's Warehouse, Chico's, Abercrombie & Fitch, McCormick & Schmix, Boston Market, Metro Diner, Taco Cabana, Subways, I didn't even know they were in trouble. Now let's talk about brands like Pizza Hut, P.F. Chang, Applebee's. They're closing 20 stores by the end of this year, permanently. Famous Amos, which I didn't even think they were around, but that's like the cookie place. 
they're going. Marie Callender. You know those little um, pot pies that you see the frozen section? They're closing. Hula Hands, Lubies, Hooters, Golden Corral, Bravo, Macy. They're in trouble. They're closing. Bed, Bath, and Beyond. Okay? Express. Office Depot, I've seen them disappearing in my neighborhood. So, yeah. Now, this one really shocked me because I never realized this was in trouble. We're talking about Walgreens, where you go to get your pharmaceutical items. Walgreens. The Children's Place. J.C. Penney's, which they've been struggling, but they've closed. They're closing. They, if they're not closed, they're closing by the end of this year. Francesca's. Zales, Jared, the jewelry store, okay? Pet Value, Justice, GameStop, GameStop, Sears, Kmart, which I've seen them disappearing on our part of the region. But if you got one in your area, it's not going to be there long. H&M, Victoria Secrets, okay? And The Gap. This is what I've bumped into doing my research. Oh, but wait, there's more. Kroger's. That's somewhere out in the south where you guys may live. Kroger's supermarket. They're, they're in trouble. They're closing stores. Food for Less. Ralph's supermarket. KFC stores in Seattle. Century 21, which I've noticed in our mall, they went out of business. Nordstrom's, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize they were struggling, but they're like a Macy's brand, so yeah, they're going to. The Disney Store, 50 Beth and Body Works, Microsoft, 83 of those stores are closing. Brooks Brothers, 126 of those stores are closing. Versace, Jimmy Choo, Michael Kors, they're closing. AT&T, The Children's Place. The family video stores. Now, any place that you went to that you bought videos from, they're no longer going to be selling videos because mostly everybody is streaming. So, they're closing those stores. Pier 21 Import. 942 of those stores are going. And there's more. Sternmark, which I've never heard of, but there's a lot more on this list that are more like in the California region. Stores that I've never heard of. But, yeah, California, Florida, all over, statewide, we're having a major crisis in this country. And it really led me to wonder, where are we going to be when all of this happens? Already we've been through a pandemic in 2020, which now pours over into 2021. And so many people are out of work. So many people are dependent on unemployment. So many people are dependent on this government stimulus check that doesn't do hardly anything and more people are going to be suffering more people are not going to have food because when people are on unemployment more people are going to be applying for government assistances they've already have government funds for housing right now to help you out of your crisis in your mortgage help you out of your crisis with your rent help you out of your crisis with your gas and electric they have so many things going on on top of everything else on top of unemployment borrowing all this massive amount of money to bail us out and all it's doing is digging us even further in because so many businesses are suffering and has suffered and will be suffering okay so you guys the writing is on the wall open your eyes and see what's going on around you and take note start preparing I'm not saying this to scare any of you because it was a harsh reality that I had to face seeing all of this and all that went down in Texas. This is not gonna get any better, all right? We may somehow dig out of some of the hardship, but there's so many people right now unemployed and with all of these things that I just finished telling you about, okay, that I finished reading off and I didn't even read off all of them, okay? I didn't even read off all of them. I got so many, okay, so many. And it's growing, okay? So it kind of makes me wonder. There's a shortage of people. There's going to be a shortage of food. The farms are already suffering. A lot of them aren't even there anymore. No one was able to ship their produce out to make money. So the farmers are suffering. Where does that leave the country? 
So you guys, I give you this as an eye opener. And when I say be frugal and be very mindful of your spending and start preparing for your future, that doesn't mean going out there blowing your little stimulus money. Y'all got to start emergency preparations for your family and yourself because the economy is getting worse and it just really makes me wonder what's going to happen to crime levels when all of this goes down okay because people are hungry out here all right so you guys i wish this video was more of on a positive note but this is an alarming time that we have to really open our eyes and see the writing on the wall and really stop ignoring the signs the signs of our times when you're in your mall take note of the stores that you don't see anymore that's closing the empty spaces when you're traveling in your neighborhood take note of all the stores that close down the mom and pop stores the little stores the big major brands when you go to the outlets all of those major brands that were out there before they may not be out there anymore so you guys I thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video don't forget to like comment subscribe down below and share this video with so many of your friends share it on your Facebook share it on your Twitter share it on your platform whatever social media platform you have because you got to do your research if you google stores going out of business you're gonna come up with a big list and it's going to shock you because you're gonna see your favorite restaurants in your part of town that are gone or going by the end of this year all right so share these, this video, all right? And until the next one, you guys, stay safe, be frugal, and mindful. And I'll see you in the next video. Now, if you are living under a rock and have not already been visiting or purchasing from my personal eBay store, then I don't know what else to tell you because you are definitely losing out with these wonderful herbal honeys that help men and women in the bedroom. Well, I have some awesome honeys that will boost your body up, that's great for the libido, that's great for the testosterone, that's great to strengthen your stamina, change the mood, increase the sperm count, it helps with that powerful stamina, that uh, stand tall longevity. So check out my eBay store for these herbal honeys that's gonna help you in the bedroom and along with your play play, all right? This is great for both men and women and it comes with so many wonderful benefits. Check down below in my eBay store, and when you check out the item, check in the description where it will tell you so much about the item, what you should expect from it, okay? You're not going to see these things on YouTube. You're not going to see anybody else promoting this. This is original, and it's only seen on this channel, okay? So like I said, visit down below in my eBay store. The links will be down in the description box of this video and you will be able to have access to all of these awesome items in my store, all right? So until the next time, you guys, have fun, okay? And I will see you in the next video.